So I recently got some TMC2130 stepper drivers and I watched Thomas's video on YouTube to get some help st setting them up. So I soldered up the boards. I got them from Phyllis Truder so they didn't come with any pins attached. And uh, I was getting a um, short to ground error and I figured I probably did something wrong and fried my boards or something because I'm not I'm, I'm relatively new to setting things up like this so I did some research and I found out that some people were having an issue with the short to ground and it was because of the CS pins the CSX pin and the CSY pin and uh, they had to move it to pins 4 and 5 or actually he just said pin 4 because he was having an issue with Y. So it took me a while to figure out how to move a pin in the firmware um, but this is pin 4 and 5 right here. I'll show you a better picture. It would be located right here that's pin 5 and that's pin 4 so in order to change those over you have to go into your firmware and go to the pins ramps dot h and find where it says x cs pin y cs pin and those are the only ones i changed you could change the z and the extruder i'm sure but you just have to change those to five and four right here and then plug them into the, the those locations on the board um, that solved my issue with the the uh, short to ground issue I was having but then I was also having another issue where it wouldn't load any of my settings from the uh, configuration.h file so in here um, in Thomas's video he shows you how to set all this up you have to enable the have TMC2130 and go through here and set all this stuff up. Well, it wasn't bringing my uh, milliamps over into my um, EEPROM. So I don't know what it was doing, but it only let me move the carriage over one or two times before it threw a over temperature warning. And I couldn't figure out what was going on. So I changed, eventually I changed the EEPROM just temporarily from the uh, terminal and it got them to work. So that made me realize that it wasn't using the settings from here. It was also not bringing over my homing sensitivity. So all I had to do to fix that was um, copy all my EEPROM settings over to uh, the firmware so I didn't lose them and then do a M502 command in terminal to uh, reset my EEPROM for all the settings in Marlin and that brought all the all the settings over like my milliamps and the homing sensitivity so that fixed the over temperature issue so if you're running into those problems, that's all you have to do to fix them. Uh, and any other things Thomas has covered in his video. So you should watch that. It's a really good video. So hopefully this helps somebody. Have a good one.